All right, we'll build some medium density residential up here. All right, come on, cooperate with me now, game. There we go. And there we go. People will love living in our crazy little place here. Alright, let's see. We just own any little crazy places here. Probably not. Well, that's alright. Actually, look at that. You can't get much more cliffside than that. All right. Looking pretty sweet. But I'm curious. Can we build a bridge across here from an area that is so high up? Apparently not, but let's see what we can do from if we start from here. All right, well, we can do that. What kind of other bridges can we make? Ooh, I like that. Bridges, I think, are very cool. I'm not sure where that's coming out. I don't want to, you know, make it without knowing where it's going to appear. All right, let's see. All right, I kind of, that's not too good. I'm going to probably blow up something if I try that. If I try to expand that. Oh, never mind. I got it to work. And there we go. It's going to be kind of wacky navigating in this place because... If you want to cross this bridge, you have to go down here, but if you want to cross the other bridge, you have to cross in the wrong, the other direction. So I think that's kind of funny. But yeah, cliffside living. You like living on a sheer cliff? Although, well, one thing's for sure if, you know, if you're a kid and you're bouncing your ball around outside and it gets out of control, it's going to, you know, bounce all the way down the cliff to the water and you're never going to see that again. Yeah, you don't want to stand too close to the cliff either or else you're going to go falling off. Going to go for a plunge. Well, how about that? It's pretty neat. And these win windmills are actually enough to power everything. Which I have to say, I'm very impressed about. All right, let's zoom out some more. Oh, and also one other thing I wanted to mention. You know, my, um, my Alpine career has thus far, oops, that's not where I wanted to go. My Alpine career has thus far contained you know, pretty much been comprised of only um, uh, simulation and strategy games. And, you know, I want to have some variety on my channel. I like that bridge. Look at that. You know, I've always wanted to do um, platformers and stuff like that. Um, The main reason I did um, strategy games is because 
Um, I felt it was kind of like my niche, and I wanted to be a better than average uh, strategy game player than just an average platformer. You know, platformer LP or just because the pool is larger. But I don't know, I think I might be selling myself short. After all, I did grow up with the Sonic games, and I played Mario plenty of times when I went to visit friends' houses, so. And besides, there's other games that I enjoyed playing that others, other people might not, um, might not remember or might not know, or games that other people haven't LP'd that much that they would enjoy seeing. And, um, you know, the main thing I'm worried about if, if I do one of these platformer type games is there's going to be a whole bunch of my regular viewers are going to complain and everything but I can't let that stop me you know I need to do uh, need to do what I want to do and hopefully people will enjoy it I mean I have enough people complaining when I play one game instead of the others, you know, some Sims people don't like it when I play Civilization, and some Civ people don't like it when I play The Sims, and, you know, that kind of gets annoying. I mean, no one can be expected to be uh, one-dimensional and devote all their time to just one thing. So, um, you know, just a thought I have. But any of this other stuff... I might, I probably won't begin until I get my new computer anyway, just because, um, I want to be able to have more memory for stuff, although I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, games on an emulator from the 16 or 8-bit eras will work just fine. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, we're building this town here. Oh, by the way, I want to give all these little towns names. So, if you can, you viewers can think of some interesting names for these places, whether they be um, descriptive or named after someone or something, you know, I mean, I'm not going to name a town after someone I don't like, you know. So, don't expect me to name a town. Uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, O.J. Simpsonville or something. <laughs> the first, first person I could think of right there. So, um... Yay, that's a funny road. I like funny roads. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, little, uh, you know, uh, monologue here. I didn't talk too much about what I was doing. Although I think what I was doing was pretty straightforward this time. I mean, I wasn't really doing anything new. Just making a interesting terrain giving these people some interesting properties to live on all right but yeah I've probably made up enough content for two maybe three videos at this point now oh, what the heck just a few more minutes I don't want to end this session just yet. Alright, here we go. Doopy doopy doo doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo. Alright, we're not getting All right. 
I'll build up to here, and then I'll stop. Oh, hey, I got a mayor's house. Where does the mayor want to live? All right, well, I gotta zoom out to take a look around. Where do I want to live? I want to live at the highest. I want to live up here. Yeah, look at me. I'm the mayor. I'm the mayor. Yes, I am. And all you guys down there in the valley, you are just, you know, you're all the peasants. I am the mayor. Yes. Behold my mayorshipness. My mayorfulness. My mayorosity. My mayoritude. All those are real words, by the way. You can look them up in the dictionary, and you'll say, Ah, I thought he was making up those words, but you know what? Those words all exist. Alright, maybe if I do a road instead. Actually I don't know. Hold on, let's try let's try this. Yeah, we're gonna re we're gonna remake the entire mountain just so the mayor can get to his house. Yes. Ah uh, the the joys of power. I'm the mayor, and you do what I say. That is one epic mayor's house. I don't think anyone can disagree with that. And um, I should allow like no car to come up the hill but the mayor's limousine. So it's like, you want to talk to the mayor, you got to walk up this big hill. And only the people who are very determined can come up here and talk to the mayor. That would be funny. But anyway, we got off to an interesting start on this, you know, giant land of, uh, of excitement. And I'll, we'll do more of this later. So, see ya everybody.